hello and welcome to Wet Team TV. So, as you can tell, we've got rain. We did have a small downpour a second ago, um, and it is it is spotting still. So hopefully it just keeps going throughout the day. Looking very grey and bleak down there. Can't see the sea, so hopefully, fingers crossed, there's a fair bit about. Um, on it though, we are in the perfect catchment for catching rain, because we're at the top of a valley, as some of you know before. Um, what I'm sort of, for those of you who've heard this all before, I, this is for anyone that's new, so I'm just going through it. So, we are on the side of a hill that faces straight at the sea down the valley. So, anywhere where the pressure coming in hits us, got water on us. Also, we have a great big moor, so a great big heap of granite up there, which is anything that comes over the top, it gets hit by under, or under pressure, and then also rains on us again. So we have two ways of constantly getting rained on, which is good. Um, and quite frankly, it's well needed. Like pretty much all the rest of you probably absolutely screaming for it as well. So, deliveries it is, because I can't do anything else. Um, also Charlie, some of you might see him, Charlie is in Royal Welsh for two days. That's what he's doing. Wolfie is growing. Rhino um, is being a bit of a playboy at the moment and is constantly going down the local village because there's some dog in season and he's really keen for it. He's, he's optimistic because the dog that he's going down which is in season is a whippet. He hasn't done the math, no. No, he, he physics is not his strong point. Um, so, but he is hopeful. Rhino. Whippet? Yeah. So we keep having to go down to the village and bring him back up um, because he goes down to see his lady friend. Anyway, I'm going to get this out and get this loaded. Now, starting this up, uh, we have a slight little problem in my first track, which we've had since we've had it. Oh, it's gone off now. So the beeper that you just heard a minute ago is basically there's not enough pressure in the cylinder because we've got a leak in, a, uh, in the elbow of a pipe underneath the tractor. And that little hairline leak is laying out enough air so we haven't got the pressure in the tractor to run the air brakes and the trailer when we first initially start up. Now, it's only a very, very finite little problem. The part is on the way, but the machine works fine with it. Um, it's not, it's not holding us back. So I'm going to hope get loaded up before the next batch of rain comes because I don't really want to strap down in the rain. That's just annoying. is um well it's like things aren't finished yeah it's like things aren't quite finished ready for rain but glad we got it though that's me thing glad we got it <laughs> Okay, so I'm back. I've been soaked twice. Change of shirt. Been drenched in fun. Yes, hair has dried off. Got the older uh, leaf blow on it. Not really leaf blow, air dry. It's not fun being drenched. Anyway, filling up this shed with round bales. Obviously, it's been a headache as it is. Uh, I've also been out and brought back big rounds of haylage because we've got none left down in this yard. The sun has come back out to greet us. 
and there is other things going on here, which you get a glimpse of one, and I'll talk more about it more next time. But this bit of kit has turned up, which we got. picked up at Devon County Show. So, Taylor attachment, three point linkage carrier. So basically, because it's a pain in the ass putting some things away in sheds, that, or the telehandler, so we can move things in, especially the mowers where they go up in the top shed, would be a hell of a lot better. But we didn't want every little extra attachment came with it, we just wanted three point linkage attachment. But also, if we're working on something or servicing um, something now, we've got a great big telly end that we can use as a jack to lift stuff up. So, handy. Anyway, this is going to be a super short video because I've just got just too much to do. So, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so, please hit subscribe. Give us a little thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And very soon, that'll be it. So, see you next one. Cheers. Oops.